I'm not going to tell you what it means. If the Lord takes you, you'll notice the change. If he takes you, there will be a reaction from the world that may be unpleasant. Um, that's about it for today. I, I really, you know, it, it seems like we keep going over. It seems like there's people listening that are... continuing to okay let's let's put it another way let me spin it around another way here we have the earth and all the good stuff and we have the thanksgiving dinner and christmas and you know what i mean and some good times and going to the football games and kind of you know enjoying the concerts and the fruits of the world and what the world has to offer and you know and all that but so some of you are feeling really like you can't compete you're losing in the world you're just not there. And so the question becomes, are you going to do something awful to get in? Or it might backfire and you might go to jail. <laughs> you know, in other words, what price are you willing to pay? Because the people competing with you are willing to pay any price. Any price. Anything. Anything. And if you're not, then that would mean you're like a lamb. You know, you have guilt and you wouldn't hurt anyone. And, oh, isn't that sweet, they'll say. Isn't that cute? Then you'll be our target because we got to feed. And for feeding on you, we get points. And you're dealing, and that's kind of like the reality you're dealing with. Okay, so for TIs, those of you who are, uh, feel targeted, again, the things you say happen to you are completely supernatural because they don't make sense in nature that there would be these there's not a group of people meeting. You know, the, the ultimate in T.I. stuff would be like the, the movie The Game with Michael Douglas and Sean Penn. Remember that? Uh, that? That's perfect. But there is no group in a secret building somewhere that's got it all organized and they're figuring it all out and watching you on different monitors. And I mean, there, there could be people watching on monitors. But I mean, there isn't this organized, cohesive thing of secrecy that's against you. It's supernatural. You just have to take my word for it. I know you think there is a place where if you could just get there and get those people and eliminate them, then you'd be okay. And, of course, you'll never do it because you're just talking about the basic oppression upon the earth. Yes, you're targeted because you're a threat, because you're not going to reject the truth. Even if you don't have the truth yet, <clears throat> when it comes, you won't reject it. Um and, you know, the Bible is so filled with just kind of an either-or thing. The whole Bible you can look at is either-or. Either you get right or I will do this to you or I will do that to you. In other words, bad things are going to happen to those who conform to the world. And the bad things that are going to happen to them will happen in real time in this earth because we all reap what we sow. If you sign on to a system that kills innocents, then at some point your innocence will be killed or you will go through tragedy. And I was just thinking... Well, I can't sum up because I don't know where people are at because there's a whole bunch of people who are coming out of Babylon and into the Lord, and they're just going to do it, and they're in the most odd places. People who have had fame, people who have had, uh, who figured out that that wasn't where it was at, you know, but I mean, people who have had, you know, people who are tired of the world, who people who are sick and tired of the corruption, people who are sick and tired of the double standard, people who are sick and tired of going nowhere, going in circles, you know, being good so they can get along with people, you know, making sure that, uh, you know, they agree with all the coolest, latest stuff so they get along. And yet they're sinking, sinking, sinking slowly down. And these are people that, if given the chance, they would welcome a new beginning. And it looks like, okay, I've gone over now. I was going to talk to you 30 minutes, and now look look where what's happened. And, and so I will say, let's put this to an end, and, uh, and I will see you next time. Uh, this is Zef Daniel from the studio, Zedja. And uh, so this may sound a little bit different, and I'm glad it does, because it's going to be more in your face, because, you know, it's just, it's just no escaping it.